Katie here. Um, so um, I um, <laughs> yeah. So some good news this week. Um, I had my appointment at the um, Welsh Gender Identity Clinic. Um, I waited um, just over three years for my first appointment. This is my first appointment at the new gender clinic, um, or any gender clinic, and um, it went really well. Um, it actually went better than expected. So um, I um, I saw um, I actually saw the same doctor who referred me, um, which is kind of might sound strange, but what happened was um, she was the NHS gatekeeper, and um, she referred me to the gender identity clinic in London. And um, in the meantime, the Welsh gender identity clinic opened, and um, the um, doctor who interviewed me and referred me, the gatekeeper, retired and came back as a consultant at the new gender identity clinic in Cardiff. So um, I, um, yeah, she um, <laughs> she actually remembered me, and um, so I went in, and the appointment lasted about an hour. Um, she started off by um, asking me um, a bit about my life history and. The first question was, when did you um, first realise that you were trans? And in my case, that was at the age of three. And then I just kind of um, told her about my transition in history, how I gradually um, became um, sort of more and more feminine um, in my dress and um, in the way that, you know, I kind of like can do my hair and like having laser on my face and stuff, you know, to get rid of my uh, beard hair. Um, and um, then I kind of like sort of brought you up to date on the medications that I'm on and my other pre-existing health conditions, which have hampered me just from transitioning so far, they've slowed me down. And um, so all that's under control, and I showed her all my medications. I, I had all those with me. I told her I'd change my name and that I got passports, um, and you know, in my with a female gender marker and with my new name on, on it. Um, and she was really happy with that. And she, so she asked me what medications I was on, and um, I told her that the NHS was prescribing Zoladex to me. Zolidex, I should say, you can never say it right, and um, also um, that they wouldn't prescribe me oestrogen because of my other conditions. So what I did, I took the initiative and I um, went to Dr. Webberly, um, who runs a gender GP clinic online, and I went privately, and I'm actually on the oestrogel now, as some um, regular viewers will know. So, um, and she had my blood test results and there aren't any problems. It hasn't been causing me any negative side effects. So um, she said, um, I think she seemed really keen for me to um, continue transitioning. You know, she didn't sort of say it would be dangerous or anything. So, and the best part about this is um, she's asked, um, well, she's arranged another appointment for me um, next Wednesday to go back and see the endocrinologist and have a chat with him. So I'm hoping that that means that um, the endocrinologist uh, will prescribe me um, estrogel so I won't have to pay for the estrogel anymore. So that will be quite a big saving for me, really. And also, if the NHS is doing all my HRT treatments, you know, providing all of my HRT treatment, then it's a lot safer because they can, um, you know, they're going to be looking at my medical records as a whole and they're going to, if my HRT medication clashes with any of my other meds, like my blood pressure meds or my, um, the interferon that I inject myself with, the polycythemia vera, then they can identify that straight away. So that's really good news. Um, and um, yeah, so I had my brows done, <laughs> so I really, I really like doing that. I had um, really like having that done. My friend Chloe did my hair, I think I said that last time, so I'm really happy with that. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully things are moving along now and I'm going to enter the new year with um, a regular, um, you know, on, on a regular hormone regimen, you know, on regular HRT regimen rather than having to go back and forth and um, run around in circles and not get anywhere. So that's good. Um, I'm, it's quite late now, it's kind of gone 12 o'clock midnight. Um, I went to the office Christmas party tonight, or the, my workplace Christmas party, which was held at the Radisson Hotel in Cardiff. Um, funny thing is, um, when I was out, um, when we, we kind of met at a sort of big, um, well it's a Witherspoons actually, um, but we kind of met there and it was absolutely packed so we we went up to the um on the second floor because all our you know we, we had reserve tables up there but there wasn't just our our company there they were all all sort of different sort of groups of people up there you know people just out you know on stag do's and things and just sort of hen do's and all that kind of thing and um because they're chatting away to um two of the partners and my colleagues and um, I don't need it's the first time I met them actually so um, they you know they don't know anything about me apart from I'm a colleague I'm, I'm, a, I'm a colleague of their um, husbands and um, anyway I was chatting away and um, the three of us were like kind of alone well we weren't alone because there were people around us but the two partners had gone off to the bar or something and um, anyway all you know out of the blue this guy just comes up to me this random guy um, and he says to me um, excuse me he said um, he said I'm out, I'm out with the boys tonight and um, would you he said I'd really like you to give me a kiss on the cheek um, just a peck just a peck on the cheek so that you leave a lipstick mark so I kind of looked a bit puzzled and then I kind of said, oh, oh, well, okay, then, you know, I had a smile, so I kissed him on the cheek, you know, and um, he sort of said, thank you, you know, but he, <laughs> I wear makeup, I wear makeup so, so rarely that um, my lipstick didn't actually leave any mark because I forgot to, um, that I had lips, lip gloss on, so um, anyway, but he's, he went away quite happy, but what I don't understand is why this kind of thing always happens to me because my colleagues partners they look quite puzzled like as if it was like a rare occurrence because it's not something that happens I don't know does it happen to to all women regularly and why you should pick me out of everyone else there because there were loads of women there there were loads of men there it was like a really good mix of genders and ages and he kind of singled me out so I don't know why but maybe it was because I was wearing red lipstick. But why would you want like red lipstick on his cheek? I don't understand that. So, <laughs> but yeah, I don't understand why these things happen to me because you recall when I was out before, um, a guy asked me to bite him on the shoulder. Um, so I, I don't understand why, you know, but I guess you know, I really don't understand that. But <laughs> anyway, I thought, I thought it was quite funny. But, but yeah, but things, things are looking up, you know, and um, yeah, so hopefully um, on my next vlog installment, I will be able to tell you that um, I'm being prescribed oestrogen as well as the Zolodex. So, and I've actually got my Zolodex uh, prescription on repeat now. So, um, I, I went into the doctors the other day and um, he just wrote me out a prescription, no problem. He said it's a repeat prescription and um, I'll get my Zolodex every three months. And I've already got, I've already picked up the next um, uh, syringe of Zolodex for my next dose in January. So um, I'm really pleased about that because I was worried about it. So yeah, things are looking up. So thank you for tuning in everyone and you know to anyone who's watching my transition vlog. I mean I'm not very good at it and it's been a bit erratic, but um yeah, hopefully getting there. Um and also as well, 
you hope you'll hopefully notice that the quality of this um, video um, picture is, is a bit better and the reason for that is um, bright spark here didn't actually um, have the camera on um, so I bought this new webcam and I was like uploading it to the internet you know and I was using Filmora to do it because I actually got some video editing software but I thought mm, well this isn't really that much different from the webcam that I had on my uh, laptop you know I would have thought the quality would have been a bit better and then um, Fool here didn't even have the webcam on and um, there wasn't any green light on because when I was fiddling around with it last time, I thought, oh, I've never seen that green light before. And so obviously I hadn't switched it on. So I really am stupid. There we are. <laughs> anyway, I love you all and um, thank you for bearing with me. And if you have any questions about transitioning or the new Welsh Gender Identity Clinic, you might have an appointment there or you might know somebody has an appointment there. Please let me know and um, I will try and answer them in the uh, comments below. So um, until then and until my next vlog, um, I wish you all a very good week and I love you all. Bye.